and welcome to the glorious Masai Mara where we've been battling off gremlins. I say like I've had anything to do with it, where we've been battling off gremlins all afternoon. My name is Jamie and this afternoon Dave is on camera with me and we've just kind of been hanging out winning the elephant competition all by ourselves without Tristan or Byron knowing anything about it because the gremlins were attacking us. So we are here in Kenya watching, I think, Dave, we've probably seen over 100 elephants now, yep. give or take. Crossing the road in front of us, little babies, but unfortunately we couldn't show them to you, for which we are very, very sorry. But we're here now for the next half an hour or so before we have to turn and race home for the gate closing time. And we've got some elephants to show you. I'm desperately curious to know why five cars have just come zooming past me. I might carry on a little bit in a moment. But don't forget to send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. And for our regular viewers, you will be thrilled to hear that we are on Pucker this afternoon. Of course, I trust completely and utterly. Don't you, Dave? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Totally trust you, don't we, Pucker? Pucker, of course, is the vehicle that stranded us not so long ago. But she seems to be up and running, having cleared out most of the rust in her fuel tank. So hopefully she will continue to go. Isn't it amazing how big the tusks of the female elephants are here? I know we keep commenting on it, and we've just gone past a herd a couple of minutes ago with the female with the really, really long tusks. She's ancient looking, and her tusks nearly reach, I wouldn't say nearly reach the ground, but they certainly are almost at the tip of her trunk. So it's something that's interesting in terms of the difference between the elephants that we see on Juma, or in the Sabi Sand in South Africa, and the elephants that we see here. Now you can see she's been digging in the mud with her tusks, having a marvellous time. And Deborah says, such grand vistas. Absolutely, Deborah. The views here cannot be beaten. And in fact, Dave and I were just talking about this earlier for a couple of reasons. One is that we were just saying we never get tired of the drive down into the reserve from the top of our mountain, what I like to think of as our mountain. You've got the spectacular view of the Mara, the Masai Mara just sort of opening out in front of you. It's quite spectacular. The other reason I'm loving this open area is because you see more of the dynamics of the elephants playing out. Because you can see the actions of all of the individuals in the herd, it gives you a much greater insight. And of course, we had that amazing moment where we saw that young elephant take its first steps. And Francis, watching in Israel, Francis, you would like to know if we've seen that baby elephant again. I I think I actually saw it this afternoon, but I'm not 100% certain because Mom never gave me a clear view of her ears, and that's the only way that I'd recognize her. I did take note of the notches on her ears when that baby was born. So I think that if I got a clear view of her, I'd know it was her. Though I'm not sure. I think I saw it, but it, the, the female that was with it was the right sort of age, but I'm not 100% on that. And I hope that when we do see it, we'll actually be with all of you so that we can share it with you. And you can see how little baby's doing now about a week, Dave, more. I don't know. I have no sense of time. I don't even really know what month we're in. I think we're in June. So, I mean, I think it was about a week ago. So we could all join us and see how that little one's doing. Shelley, you want to know if the tusk side w size would be different depending on the vast array of food that there is here. I guess it's possible, uh, just in terms of growth. And we're just going to have a vehicle that's going to pass by your shot there in a sec, Dav. Here it comes. So, perfect. Jumbo, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. That is a gentleman in a little governor's vehicle who, of course, were responsible for rescuing us. I guess there's something to be said for the quality of the food, but I think it's more just genetics. I think that you'll find that the genes that have been passed along in this area will be subtly different from those in South Africa, not sufficient to make them a different species or a different subspecies, but enough that you see a, a difference in 
things like tusk growth. And perhaps size as well. Brent thinks they're smaller than the elephants that we see in South Africa. I'm not convinced about that. I think that the, um, the open area doesn't really give you the best perspective as to their size. Right, here comes another vehicle. There's definitely something going on down that way. I mean, the little governor's vehicle is on their way to little governor's, fair enough. But everyone appears to be in a great hurry. Jumbo, go ahead, please. Cheers, guys. Shame, it's so sweet. Everybody's just slammed on the brakes when they realize that we're filming. They don't want to cross in front of our shot. It's very considerate of them. Thank you, everyone. Right. I'm going to go and see if I can figure out exactly what it is that everybody's rushing off to. While we do that, let's go back all the way to South Africa and join Tristan in the back of his vehicle.